this is Bob Sorrentino from Italian Roots and Genealogy, and you can find us on YouTube and Facebook. And soon, hopefully, we're going to have a little newsletter coming out. And uh, I'm here today with Pat Pizzotti, and uh, she is in Italy, and she does genealogy work. So welcome, Pat. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it's great to have to have somebody from Italy. I love when I get to talk to somebody from Italy. So, yeah. um, so, so with that, uh, where in Italy do you reside? Well, I live in Vicenza, which is northeast. Uh, it's about eighty kilometer from Venice. So we have uh, a little bit of Bali and a lot of mountains. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to assume, but I'm going to ask you anyway, um, that your family goes way back in that area. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Well, I was born in Argentina because oh. my, yes, because my granddad and from both parents were um, Italian immigrating in Argentina. So I came back in about... 30 years ago in 1992 so yes oh that's so interesting so why did you go back oh well it was uh I don't know it was something that uh, called me you know like coming back home <laughs> I know yeah. it's calling me too but I'm I'm yeah. too old <laughs> that is when I start doing genealogy when I was around 18 years old I start doing and I did my citizenship just because to like honor my grandparents without knowing that uh, I've been living here, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so, yeah. that's so, so interesting. Yeah. You know, I'm working it on, was... I'm working on my citizenship. I have all the papers working now and we're trying to decide which the best route. I don't um... go into the consulate in New York city is just, it's impossible. Oh, everywhere. Uh, I don't yeah. Go yeah. So yeah, I think we're yeah, going to go th through the courts and I could actually, mm -hmm. you know, probably like you, I, I could mm -hmm. apply through all four of my grandparents. Um, oh, okay. So, so we, I think, I think, uh, I think we may go through my mom's family in Bari because uh, the courts may not be as crowded and, you know, I'm meeting okay. the mayor of, I'm going to meet the mayor of Torito in September. So maybe he can push it oh, along. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they came from, a, they came from small town in Bari, Torito. And, and, uh, okay. So, yeah. uh, and okay. we were supposed to go there almost 28 years ago and we never made it. And then the last trip we spent near Naples. Uh, so this okay. time we're, we're going to go there and I have, I have cousins in Toronto, so we're gonna go visit okay. them too. So I well, meet them. I'm I'm living in in Vicenza, but uh, my dad is from Sondrio, Lombardia. Oh yeah. And my mom is dead. She is from Macerata, which is Marche. So it's yes. like a, a a lot of mix. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that's the way it is. Well, that's the way it was with the immigrants. Because same thing with my parents. Yes. You know, they were from yeah. Bari and, and Naples. So that's an, not unusual. And uh, yeah. and I guess your parents, they obviously they met in Argentina, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Now, they, yeah. now what did they say when you said you were coming, go, going back home? Uh, that I was mad. <laughs> 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 but then, you know, it's like I, I made the top and then everybody followed me. <laughs> really? Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so jealous. I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to get the citizenship now, mainly for the, my children and, and if, yeah. if they have children, grandchildren, so that yeah. they have the options. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I would... I would come tomorrow and stay if my, if my wife would oh, let excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, when you went back, did you did you go back knowing that you wanted to research the family, or did that just happen when you got there? But no, it was like um, mm, more than looking for family. I was looking for a better future. So. 
And so, so, so you, you go back and what did you do when you first get back? You didn't jump right into the genealogy work, did you? No, <laughs> I, started, <laughs> I started working, then I, um, no, then I start doing genealogy, but you know, in those times were so difficult because it wasn't, you know, internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like you have all in paper and you have to go by your own in the church, or, you know, or the archives and that thing. So it was so difficult that time. Yeah. 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 No, I understand. So yeah. now did you, now have you researched your family and where your parents came from? Yes. I did everything, yes. So and what then, did you uh, find? Well, I found a lot of interesting things, like uh, um, from my uh, from my mom's side, I I learned that my grand grandfather, uh, they've been before in Brazil, and they from Brazil they escaped kind, and they went to Argentina, and then uh, they came back in Italy. Wow. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. So yeah. like what so about what year was that? You know, back in time. What year was oh, that? Oh, was about in the eighty eighty seven. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. long time ago. And, yes. and do you know why they went to South America in the first place? I mean, I know probably for a better life at the time, but yeah, yeah, you know, when I uh, when I learned about um from my dad's side as well. Uh, my grand grandfather, he went to Argentina as well to work in the. You know, they were um developing the train rails, and as they were from Lombardy, you know, they are good to work in the mountains, in the rocks, and that mm -hmm. things. So he, yeah, so he went to Argentina to work in North for their trains yeah wow that's interesting and yes yeah. uh, again not unusual you know uh for the, mm -hmm. the ones that came to america um yeah. now have you got back have you got back very far with the family in italy i mean italians for the most part don't do a yeah. lot of genealogy so uh, this is like I know. new to me <laughs> I, yeah i know i know in italy it's like mm, not not that much people is interested in that everybody knows that in the family somebody went to australia to the ua so of, uh, in south america but they are like not interested that much in in the genealogy but you know i i start like a project and i say okay i'm gonna try to connect everybody with everybody yeah, so I start indexing, you know, the archives from Sondrio. And Sondrio has around 1,026 cities. Wow. And I already connect almost 50 of them. <laughs> yes, so I have a big, big family tree with um, around 1,000, no, uh, 180,000 people. 180,000. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That, yes. Well, you that's the most I've heard so far. <laughs> yes. And I I got almost in one and 1,100 year. So like 2,000 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's something. That's something. Yeah, a I've, lot. A I've lot. been able to go back not with my my mom and dad's family, you know, that far, but my my uh, paternal grandmother is uh, Pio Malo and Caracciolo. And Caracciolo, I've gotten back to, you know, the kings and queens of, of uh, Spain and France and, and places like that. And uh, the first Caracciolo was uh, in Naples, uh, like 950. And I could trace, I was able to trace through the Libra de Oro, trace back to him directly. Yes. Yeah, it's so amazing. It's like a fascinating, you know, 
it's I it's like I say, it's like a drug. You know, you yes. once you're you're in, you're in. <laughs> And you can't get out. That's right. No, you're no, absolutely right. You're no, absolutely no, right. no. And it's incredible how you can pass hours and hours sitting on a chair, not knowing the time is flowing. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's amazing. I really so now, love so, this. So I have to ask, because again, I know Italians, they don't do DNA tests. Have you done a DNA test? Yes, I did. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I, 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 last time I, I, I should have brought uh, some tests with me. I think I may do it this time to give to yes. a couple of people because, you know, uh, a lot of Americans do it, but getting that connection back to Italy. And I've even, I've even used living DNA, which is based in, in, uh, Switzerland. Uh, oh, okay. and my wife is half Sicilian, half Puerto Rican. She's got probably 10 times as many cousins as I've been able to find. Yes. Because the Italians just don't do DNA tests. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I find um, more people connect to my um, to my family tree uh, abroad than in Italy. Yes. Yes, I have a lot of. I say everybody is my cousin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I find a lot of cousin, you know, around the world, more than in Italy itself. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because my Piramalo cousin, she, she, I found her on Facebook and she put together a, um, a group thinking that she would find people in South America and Spain because the family originally came from Spain in 1500. Uh, and she was shocked to find Americans. And in fact, at the time in the early 1900s, only two people from uh, my grandmother's family came. That was my grandmother and her aunt had come about five years, uh, 10 years before her. Uh, but everybody else is still in Italy. You know, even to oh. this day, nobody's really come from that family. Um, yeah. So, and I think probably because at the time they didn't, they, they weren't poor. They weren't rich, I don't think, but well, some of them are going way back, but they weren't poor farmers, so they didn't need to come. And, and I I can't figure out why my grandmother came, only that maybe because her aunt had come first and her husband was an entrepreneur, that yeah. maybe he said to come to America. And, uh, and you know, World War One was breaking out. So that's yeah. the only thing I could figure. Yeah. You find a lot of interesting histories, you know, doing this. We'll be right back. Experience Italy like never before, traveling with a scheduled group or create your own bespoke tour with friends with PhilItaly.com. Pack your bags and follow Phil. That's www.PhilItaly.co. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, so... Did you find any interesting occupations of people when you researched your family back? Well, oh gosh. Yeah, I think so. I have a lot of I have like um um I don't I don't know how it's in English or really the occupation, you know, but I found somebody was uh, you know those people who need the the net for the marines. Oh, like a, yeah, like a, yeah. No, uh, what, like, was, it was so interesting because it was like a not making, I don't know. <laughs> and, I, and I have to find, you know, what was this? And I say, what is this? And yeah, it was the people who does, you know, the not for the yeah. net. Mm hmm mm hmm And that was, uh, and, and I'm sure that was really a skill. So, so they must have lived yeah. near the. They must have lived near the coast if they had a, a the, that kind of uh, industry. Yeah, this was uh, near um, Genova, Genova. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. mom's family, uh, everybody was uh, uh, contadino. Uh, a contadino. Or a, a, a bacciolo. Is that how you say that right? A farmhand. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then I yeah. found somebody. 
back in the 1700s who was like a farmhand, uh, not a farmhand, he was a, um, uh, like a forest ranger or something. I was like, oh, finally, somebody that's oh, something different. <laughs> somebody important. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. And, right, and yeah. but my, my dad's father, uh, my great great grandfather, he was an attorney. His father was an attorney. Uh, my oh. great great grandmother's mother was an attorney. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, you know, completely different. I mean, in, in Italy, they were from two different, completely different classes. They never would have yeah. been involved in, with each other. Of course, in yeah. America, it was different. And yeah. and then on my grandmother's, um, my paternal grandmother's family. Uh, some of the occupations are landowner and a okay. couple of people, it just said rich person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was their occupation. Yeah, I, rich person. I found, I found that. Yeah, yeah. I found that. Then I found, I remember now I found some um, musicians as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, and some uh, street, um, like a street actor or something like that was like, yeah, I I was thinking about something like, you know, Pulcinella in, yeah. in Napoli. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I remember when I read that, I say, oh, my God. <laughs> well, you I'm know, a my... street artist, you know. Yeah, that's uh, well, they could be in yeah. Times Square now in New York City and perhaps people give them money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, my um, my children are adopted and I've been able to research my daughter. And I, I okay. think it was I think it was through her biological father because they were in they were in America from 1600s. And okay. I was able to trace uh, her line back to uh, the Bassano brothers. I don't know if you know the Bassano brothers, who they are. Uh, the Bassano? Yeah. They were musicians okay. um, from, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if it was Florence or Venice, probably Florence. Okay. But they went to England uh, in the 1500s, and they were the, they were the musicians for Henry VIII. Oh. And... They married English women, of course. They were lived in England. And through her birth father, she has a connection back to Italy 500 years ago. Gosh, that is nice. Crazy, well, right? Well, you know that um, I, I, I love to, you know, to follow the, the sixth degree of uh, separation. Mm. Have you heard about that? Yes, that? sure. Oh, yes. That's amazing. That is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> My family tree is like a testimony for that, you know, because I have a cousin everywhere and it's like everybody is connected with um, myself. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah that, nice. that is a, that is, that is something. Well, you know, I found just you know, unbelievable grandparents um, like, you know, Ferrante mm -hmm. of Naples and, we would watch, uh, I don't know if they showed it over there. They showed the, they made a, I think it was Netflix, did a series on the Borgias, the, you know, the yeah. Pope. And uh, I was watching that with my wife and I'm saying, well, that's a grandfather and that's a grandfather and that's this person and that's <laughs> that person. And she was like, are you sure? I says, yes, I recognize all of these people from from doing my, my research. And uh, the... Um, I, I, I think I have to say the most surprising person that I, I found, because she's so, so interesting, was Isabella d'Este. Uh, and she is one of my grandmothers. And, and, and her life was oh. just incredible, just amazing. Uh, and I never heard of her before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I um, sometimes I'm trying, you know, to imagine what was happening in those years, you know, mm. because now it's so easy to take maybe an airplane, a ticket, uh, and go to the other side of the ocean, you know. Right. But two hundred years ago, one hundred years ago, in the in the early nineties was so difficult 
you have to take a boat to stay two months, you know. <laughs> and but then even, but but yeah. even travel, even travel within in, in Italy, because you know, my my grandmother's, you know, ancestors, they lived in Naples because they were the nobles. And we made the trip, we made the train ride from from you know Naples to Sheila, and then it was like an yeah. hour or so from Sheila to um uh Montebello up in the mountains and we're going through these mountain roads and I said and they used to make that trip apparently twice a year and I said I can't imagine they went from Naples and in, in a you know in a wagon with horses it must have yeah. taken days just to get from Naples to Calabria yeah. yeah you know what happens sometimes people say oh you know I know that my I don't know my grand grand grandfather was from Sicily but I found, you know, the entrance in the port in Buenos Aires or Sao Paulo or whatever from Genova. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, that is not your grand grand grandfather. That is impossible, you know, from Sicily to Genoa in, in the latest 80s. No, that was impossible. Yeah. So you try to feel, you know, try to follow again, you know, the ride they did, how I, they I move from one city to another. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and my wife always says, she said, I wish, I wish we could just drop in for a day 200 yeah. years ago to see how these people lived and, and yeah. everything, and, you know, that would be amazing. And, and in my case, you know, I was I was relatively young when the, all my grandparents passed away because my parents were at the younger end of the family, uh, and and every time I think about it, I said, why didn't I ask? You know, I never ask questions. I never, you know, I never yeah, thought to I ask know. questions. And um, it, it's my parents they didn't they didn't talk that much about Italy. I mean, some of my no. aunts and uncles were actually born there, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't think to ask. You know, and I tell people. You, you have to be in touch with your grandparents. You have to ask them questions now before yeah, they're not yeah. here anymore. Yeah, 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 that's true, yeah. I uh -huh. know a lot of people, you know, that say, I don't know where my my grandfather came from because in my family, they never spoke about Italy. That's right. There's a lot, a lot of people, you know, that they don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, well, when when I met my cousins in Naples, um, I my father told me thirty five years ago that he had mm -hmm. family in Torre del Greco, and we were near there. Twenty eight years ago, we went to um, Pompeii, and I saw the sign, and I said to my wife, I said, I "Remember, my father mentioned this, but he didn't say who was there. I never said." Um, when I met my cousin there. Uh, he said, I'm going to take you, you're going to come with me, I'm going to take you someplace. And he took us to an apartment. And my two of my dad's first cousins in their 90s lived there. But they had pictures from my grandmother. I never knew these people existed. Yeah. It, was, it was crazy. It was the craziest thing that ever happened to me, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I found a lot of people when I came back that I didn't know that they were part of my family. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so that's an interesting thing. Because your parents didn't think you should go. What did what, so what did the Italian family when you came back? What did they think when you came back? Well, I see few of my uh, grandmother's uh, cousins. And then uh, the other people was new for everybody. We're yeah. like, uh, we didn't know each other. No, they know that maybe that my dad was the son of their this one, but yeah, we didn't we didn't know each other. It was like um um like creating a new family all together, knowing that we are family, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the connection is there, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It, it, it's, yeah. it's 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 amazing. And that's the way I felt. Uh, you know, when they walked in the room, one of the women, you know, looked like my grandmother. Yeah. 
you know, so, so I know. it was like, you know, right there. And they had, yeah. they had my parents' wedding picture that my grandmother had sent in 1944 yeah. with her handwriting oh, on the back. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. You know, it, they saved it all of these years. Um, yeah. So, so now do you, now you do work for other people who are looking for, for their family? I do. I do. Yeah. I have um, a profile in Instagram and I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I do a lot of genealogies, yeah. And I work as well with the citizenship, but just only through the court. Yeah, so why don't, so so let's talk about that a little bit. You know, how do you help? And, and um, you know, for people who want to get started doing their research, what do you suggest? Well, you know, for people who have to start from zero, you know, from non- it's like start from yourself and going back because it's easier, yeah? And then, you know, you start for the um, a birth certificate. And then the most important thing is the uh, marriage because uh, on the marriage are the parents of the groom. And the so you're going like creating generation over generation in that way and then it's a lot of uh, looking for um you know some kind of trick in the <laughs> in the certificates <laughs> yeah and try to figure it out what it can be you know the the surname and trying you know to know from which port in italy they go away or yeah it's not easy sometimes it's not really easy yeah well i mean one of the easier things and at least for doing the italian genealogy is that at least the women don't change their name yes in america they change their name and it's yes really tough. and it's really tough you know when some people from uh, from the u.s call me and they say oh my I don't know. My dad is uh, Luigi Pizzati, and my grandmother was Maria Pizzati. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Please. <laughs> but yes, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And that 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 was the that was the uh, the funny thing with my my mom's parents. They were both Nicoletti in Italy, but they weren't related. They but they had the same yeah. last name. I, they, I mean, they were probably related at some point, but they weren't at you know, some point, yeah, close, yeah, uh, because they came from the same town, so they had to have some some relationship there. Uh, yeah. But uh, my grandmother spoke mostly Italian; she spoke broken English. And one day, I don't know if it was a census man or somebody had come to the house and kept asking. He asked my grandmother, "What's your husband's name? Luigi Nicoletti. What's your name?" Maria Nicol Nicoletti. No, what's your maiden name? And no, what's said, your name? <laughs> Nicoletti. And he said, no, no, Nicoletti. And my uncle was apparently in the other room and heard it. And he says, he, she understands what you're saying. Her maiden name was Nicoletti too. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he just thought that it she happened. didn't understand. Um, yeah, it happened, and, it happened. And she signed. I mean, she did, she, my grandfather could sign his name. My grandmother couldn't. She signed with an X. She signed every even in America, she had to sign with yeah. an X because she never learned how to write. And I guess the women yeah. back then, you know, in, in born in the eighteen eighties in small little farming, and they didn't need to learn to write, so yeah. they didn't. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's 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 that's the one good thing about researching Italians is that you know, if you know, and and like yes. you said, I was. I was looking when I was looking uh, for my mom's parents. I asked. I I didn't know uh, their name, and I think I asked somebody. And one day I said to my mother, I said, "I don't know their what's what's their parents' names." And my mother said, "Oh, I have the birth certificate. I know the names." Wow! And this was like I was researching for years, and I never thought to ask my mother. <laughs> But she, I, I don't know, was it the, it was the death certificate? She had the death certificate. Your hand. She had the death certificates for both my grandparents. And I never no thought way. to ask her. And like you said, 
they, their parents yes. are wrong. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and um, I, I've been doing as well the genealogy from Vicenza. Yeah, especially from Asiago, which is in the north, in the mountain. Yeah, which is my city. And everybody, I mean, in that city, there are three surnames, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are Rigoni, you are Frigo, or you are Panozzo. That's it. That's it. So, 100 years ago, they decide to put like a clan name to differentiate because of that why it's impossible, you know. So now you have the Panonzo of Tarello, the Panonzo Rigo, the Panonzo this, the Panonzo that, to separate the families, you know. And anyway, it's a mess. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, it's a mess, you know, because it's like I found a lot of people from from those families going to the going to the state, the state, and they give just the the name of the clan instead her their surname, mm -hmm. and that is another mess, you know, because in somebody in in the in United States say, oh, my my grand grandfather was Ostarello. Instead, no. That was the clan name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you have to do a lot of, you know, corrections on the certificates. And <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then, you know, the same thing here in America. They, yeah. when they came on the ship, you said your name. And if you didn't understand, they would write down anything. If the person didn't yeah. understand, they would. You know, but even even researching the Antonati, I I found uh, my uh, yeah. great great grandmother was from Lucerne, Switzerland, and I found three different spellings for her name. Yeah. So I tell people too, you, you don't just go with what you think. You know, sometimes an yeah. A may be an O, and I may be an E. You know, you yeah. need to kind of play with it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to play as well with the pronouns. And try to um like write and translate, you know, the pronouns. Yes, that's right. And then yeah. you find you find a lot of documents like this in that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and so so one thing that's different in the north, I think, than from the south, um the the civil records don't go as far back, correct? Yeah, in north um, um, um in Vicenza. In Vicenza, they start from uh, um, 1871. Right, right. And instead, in Lombardia, 1866. And uh, I don't remember another one. In Torino, the Piedmont uh, region is a little bit difficult. Because they have, you know, um, archives um, in Austria. Oh, you know? right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And even so think it's about a little, that. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah. And you find some archives from not that far away, like 1850s in mm. French as well. Really? You know? Yes. Wow. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I French. guess those towns were because they were on the French rule or Austrian rule. That's, yeah. that's what they that's what they knew. Yeah, yeah. The archives, you know, from um, Genova, from the the early eighties, was like in eighty twenty five, eighty thirty. Mm -hmm. everyone in French? As no well. kidding! Wow! Wow! Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Yeah, see. see you know what I found with my mom's family, Torito, for some strange reason, they must have started very early archiving it because the whole town is is on the Antonati. And, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, finding people on there from Naples is like, you know, you know it's a crapshoot. You know, there's so many people in the Naples area that I know if you if you're lucky, you find I found some 
But no Sorrentinos. I found Piramalo. I found Caracciolo. No Sorrentinos yet. Yeah. At least none of my Sorrentinos. Yeah, I know, I know. It's like there were big cities since 200 years ago. And if you see, you know, if you see the the books from one from one single year, like, I don't know, put 8066, they have like 3,000 pages. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eternal. If you have to find somebody there, it's eternal. You, you can put hours and hours sitting there reading <laughs> the archives. Yeah, if they if they even let you stay there. But the problem with the, like the smaller towns is they may have they may have the comune open for two to four on Wednesdays, right? So if I you're know. lucky, if you're lucky if they I get know. in there. <laughs> I know, I know that's too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hoping yeah. when I go to Torito that the mayor's got the key and he'll let me in and we'll, <laughs> we'll be able to look around. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, pull okay. some string. My my grand yeah. my great grandfather, he was the uh, he he owned I, I think two cows and he used to walk through the street with the cows and deliver milk. If you wanted milk, he would milk the cow at your door and yeah yeah that's what, that's what he yeah. did. That that was something that uh, especially in the north Italy, um still now you know when they when they move the cows from the winter to the state, you know, to go down to the hills for the fresh, uh, you know, herbs and that things. Mm -hmm. They do it like every year, like um, like a really, like a fest, you know, it's like, it's, it's really nice. And they bring the cows and yeah, and they yeah. sell the milk and everything. And, and uh, you know, one of my, one of my families, one of my, uh, grandmother's older families they came from Capacota in Molise and and they told me how they would take the sheep from there and go all the way down yeah. to Puglia in the yeah. summer and then and then they will come back that's a lot <laughs> yeah yeah they used to make this big long trip yeah um but yeah that's that's what they did that's that was life yeah. back then right yeah that um, was life yeah Probably a better life. You're out under Probably. the sun and the stars, and <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. No internet. Yeah. No. No politics. internet. <laughs> <laughs> no nothing. Um, yeah. So yeah. Pat, if if people want to contact you uh, to get some work done, how how where would they find you? Well, I'm on Instagram right now, and. My name there is uh, is in Italian. The name so it's like the Italian genealogist. It's la genealogista italiana. <laughs> right, and we see it there on the we see it there next to you next to you. So I'll make yeah. sure I I'll make sure I put that in the post and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thanks. I, I really appreciate you taking the time. And this was Thank fun. You very and much. I, I always I always learn something, especially I I really love speaking to people in Italy because I get so much more uh, information about there than I do if I'm just talking to somebody in America. Yeah. Not that their stories aren't great, but uh, it's always fun. I to, know. And especially, especially somebody who went back. So that's even yeah. more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you very much for this opportunity. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Bob Sorrentino. Just letting you know that my new book, Farmers and Nobles is now available for sale on www.italiangenealogy.blog backslash Farmers and Nobles, or you can find the link in the podcast notes. Thanks for listening.